My name is Skip Darty, and I'm from Vine Grove, Kentucky. Went to North Harden High School, graduated in 1964. My father uh, retired from the Army, and I started there the second year that North Harden became a consolidated school. After, upon graduation, I went to uh, Eastern Kentucky University. Uh, actually, I went, to, I went to college to play football. So those of you that uh, are wondering why you go to college, we all have different reasons, but we all end up in a different place. So uh, first time I got to college, I knew that uh, there's other things in life other than football. It helped me get a, it got me a scholarship, got me through school, but I realized that uh, one time in life that you're going to do some other things. And in preparation for uh, for college, it was uh, I really had no idea about college until I had some good teachers at North Harden that encouraged me. I was the first one of seven of my family to go to college, first generation, and I had some Mrs. Lukens and uh, Cheryl Lukens at North Harden High School, Mr. Alton. They all encouraged me to, to go further, and I had no idea at the time. But I took their advice and got an opportunity to go to Eastern and play football. Went there, uh, got, in, got into the program, got involved in school. North Harden prepared me well for college. The, the system, even though it's been 50 years ago, we had a, I was very competitive academically, had a, a good college career, I think. And as I uh, decided what to do in the future, my plan would be a football coach. I had an opportunity to be... Uh, work administration there as a graduate assistant for the president. I was his graduate assistant my, uh, once I graduated. I stayed on as a missions counselor. I went on to Dean of Student uh, Development at Eastern. Um, stayed there for 43 years actually. Actually, I retired three years ago and now I went back to work again at Eastern now as the executive director of the Center for the Arts, which is a full circle thing. In my career at Eastern, I was the Dean of Students, uh, Director of Student Activities, Director of National Alumni Association, Executive Assistant of the President, then retired after 43 years. No intention at all of staying in. I wanted to work with students. I thought I'd be a football coach, but life serves you up different opportunities. And I do know that I got my foundation at North Harton High School. And uh, any advice to, to students is open the doors, let things happen, look for opportunities, and take advantage of them. I was just an Army brat from from, from North Harden, my dad retired and had no clue about life. But I do know there's enough help and mentors in your school system. If you allow them to be in your life and to assist you, uh, you'd be surprised the opportunities that you can take advantage of. And to, to seek that help and find it, no matter how smart you are or how much you think you have it together, let other people in your life to help guide along the way because they've been there and done that. Once I graduated from Eastern, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I had the opportunity to be a graduate assistant, as I mentioned, for the president. Uh, I look at a career. When I, was, when I graduated high school, this was in 1964, and I got a, a job and opportunity at Fort Knox, and, and I was working on construction with a former shop teacher. And I thought, gee whiz, if I could ever make $10,000 a year, <laughs> life would be wonderful. This was 1964. Right now, you know, that's, not, that's even look back and say, what was I thinking? But those days, that was worth it. But uh, I always had a, I always was new to focus. To get ahead, you had to work hard. I don't know how it is in your life right now, young people, but there's opportunities out there. And if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and work and not expect to be the president of anything you're working at in the first three months, you have an opportunity. My job uh, at Eastern, I started at $8,500 in 19... 1969. That was a decent salary. I was so excited. I was $1,500 away from 10000 and I was just starting out work. But I worked a lot. I worked at Eastern or I was at home. Uh, I do think that you've got to understand that in order to get compensated and have opportunities, you've got to do everything available in that job, experience everything, prepare you for the next position if you want to move up. If you don't want to move up, sit back, get your minimum wage, and struggle through life. But if you want to really achieve, and whatever you determine success to be, which monitor, money, money can't buy you everything, but as the song says, it can buy you a boat. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, you really get your, your satisfaction in life from your work with your family, being involved in your family, and also your work. And your work, you want to might as well be compensated for it, and you might as well enjoy it. Find a, a career. I had no, when I went to high school, out of, out of high school, I was going to be a football coach. I want to work with young people. But I had that same opportunity at a university for 43 years to work with people 18 to 22 my entire career. And most of my friends were 18 to 22 for 40 years. <laughs> and it, so, and, and I, don't, I don't know of a day that I didn't enjoy going to work. 
So I was lucky, but I also recognized an opportunity. So young people and whoever's listening to this part of it, if you want to succeed, be open to op open to opportunities. It may not be your direction you thought, but give it an opportunity, give it a shot. Take a look at it. I went from working with a, in admissions to student affairs to National Alumni Association. I got my doctorate at Indiana University. If you want to work in higher education, the union card's your doctorate degree. So you want to aspire towards that. Most institutions have tuition programs for you, but you go ahead and get it early. Get your, get your bachelor's, get your master's, and get your doctorate. Now, if you want to go in other fields where you need your doctorate, find that profession. It's not so much where you go, but that's basically a union card, and also you learn a lot. And, and I, you know, at, at, at 22, I had no clue. But as I got in the job, I said, hey, wait a minute, if I want to advance, I don't want, I need to have that degree. I do not, I, I decided I never wanted to miss an opportunity because I didn't have a degree. So I got my degree when I was, when I got my doctor when I was 30, and that never closed, that always kept a door open for me because I had that. They could never say, gee, if you had your doctorate, you could do this. Watch for opportunities. They're out there. You just have to be, have initiative and be industrious enough to take advantage of them. You find your passion and look for it. You might have a, I want to be, I want to do this, or I want to do that. And certain, if you're in a medical field, there's certain ways you have to go. But in general education, there are so many opportunities that you have to be open to them and, and check them out. I'm, I've, had, I've got an intern coming in starting this fall that wants to be in the, working at the Center for the Arts in, in the performing arts. So we're giving them an intern, and this person didn't take the initiative to come and work out a contract with me. What can we learn for taking two hours credit? And they'll find out in this semester whether that's something they want to do. And all it was was reaching out and check, checking it out. So look for opportunities. You'll be surprised at what all is out there. Your counselor's going to tell you certain things, but until you actually get your, your feet on the ground, do an internship or something along those lines, do a walkthrough with somebody, check with your counselors. All these schools have uh, career services that you can work with. Look at the opportunities. Check, check your aptitude and, your, and, and what you're really good at. Not what you maybe want to do, but what you're good at. You got to have a to have a successful career. I think you've got to have a passion for what you do, regardless of what it is. No passion, no fun.